This is a general collective message, so only take what applies and let the rest fly. Most importantly, be sure to watch responsibly and always vibe with your tribe. Aloha everybody, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Fa'afitai telelava for being here today. Let's see what messages spirit has for you. What's up everybody, it's Joey. All right, let's go ahead and jump on into this message here. We have a twist in fate, okay? I'm hearing um, expect the unexpected, okay? The card here we have is a twist in the tail. It says the unexpected change you did not see coming. So there is a change that we do not see coming in the collective that we will be experiencing here, okay? We're gonna delve into that and see what we need to know about this change, okay? I'm hearing keep an, keep an open mind. In order for you to, what for whatever's coming up, if it's something that is a, a, a some sort of opportunity, in order for you to take advantage of that opportunity, you need to keep an open mind. Keep your mind wide open. Uh, some of you guys, I'm hearing that you guys are manifesting something huge for yourself, something different for yourself, okay? And for some of you guys, I'm hearing uh, what is coming or the opportunity that opportunities that are opening up for you, the doors that are opening up for you are uh, may look different than you visualize, okay? Uh, so I'm hearing don't limit the things you can achieve and receive okay you may have a certain picture in your mind about how something has to like which steps has to be taken or uh how something has to look in order for it to come to fruition but spirit is telling you uh to not limit how something can come into your life okay because some of you guys you, you're trying to reach certain you, you're trying to reach certain goals right and you have a certain pathway that you see yourself going down and you may have some sort of detour there may be a detour that appears and you're being advised to trust the flow of things i'm hearing trust the order of things trust the flow because you may be visualizing a straight and narrow path but the path may it may lead you it may be a winding road that leads you to this goal so i'm hearing to be open okay you may need to change direction or you may be shown a brand new direction and um in your mind you may be thinking no this is not the way for me to go um that's not the right way i don't trust this i'm hearing go with the flow be open to life's many mysteries. Be open to adventure is what I'm hearing. Open yourself up to adventure. Open yourself up to the unknown. And don't be afraid of what you don't know. I'm hearing you're not going to be able to know everything anyways. So just be open to this whole journey is what I'm getting here. Okay. So you guys, we have the fairy ring. And this card talks about uh, new skills, advanced training, and rapid improvements. So some of you guys may be learning new things, learning something new, picking up a new skill, picking up a new trade, trade, a trade or a trait. I'm hearing you may be learning uh, to look at things from a different perspective or learning about judging things. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, I'm getting something to do with reality with uh, manifestation and reality something may be different on how you see it and how it really is or how it is working out that's why I'm saying you need to keep an open mind because with this twist in fate this unexpected change that you don't see coming you're going to be able to make rapid improvement rapid advance advancements and also um because it's it, it's the unknown and it may be kind of nerve-wracking at first because you don't know what's going to happen you don't know where this is going to go um 
that you will also be afforded resources, information, guidance, okay, helpers, mentors, okay, guides, okay. Some of you guys, you you're wanting, you see yourself in a certain uh, position in life, and you might not know how you're gonna make it to that position. But the thing is, is that sometimes I'm hearing opportunities and miracles can sprout up out of nowhere. Doors can open or opportunity can, an opportunity can present itself to you up out of nowhere uh, when you least expect it. So be on the lookout. Somebody here, you think that you're not gonna have the tools or you don't have the tools, but everything is gonna be provided to you. And when I say provided to you, I'm, I'm talking about you are going to have the opportunity to learn new things. Like, let's say if you wanted to be a boss, you want to be a manager, you want to be a supervisor, you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to be whatever it is you want to be. You may not uh, have the skills or you believe that you don't have the skills. Uh, but spirit is telling you is that the information that you need, the opportunities to learn Whatever it is that you need to learn. I mean, some of you guys are going to learn. Some of you, some of y'all are going to learn when you learn, when you go. Learn as you go, okay, is what I'm hearing. But those tools are going to be given to you or presented to you so that you can learn what you need to learn to be able to do a certain position. Some of y'all want a certain position, but you think you're not you're not worthy of it because you think you lack the skills. But I'm, I'm hearing you, you will, you will get the educational training um, that you need to do this job or to do to stand in this whatever role this is, whatever rapid improvement. Like some of you guys are getting more money, okay, is what I'm getting. Some of you guys are are achieving or receiving more money in your life and you're, and you're like, I don't know how to handle money. I can't even handle the, the little money that I got right now. You are going to have certain resources that you you can take advantage of you can tap into you can learn from to better to be better equipped to handle whatever money that's coming to you whatever opportunities that are coming to you somebody is love you may have had bad luck when it comes to love uh you may have always found yourself in situations to where uh something is not it's always not working out okay but uh, and it may have to do with compatibility issues, um, compromising or being able to successfully navigate situations with other people. But you're going to be afforded the education, the knowledge. OK, but it's going to be up to you. Right. It's going to be up to you what you do with these opportunities. We have your imaginary friend here. OK, childhood treasures resurface so somebody this could be about a childhood dream that you have somebody you had a guy that was with you during your childhood that is resurfacing now in your life or you are just reopening yourself to this connection which is i'm getting that this is a spirit god you're reopening yourself to that connection and, and, and uh being able to take advantage of communicating okay i'm hearing spirit communication okay getting the downloads that you need being able to follow your intuition or getting intuitive insights okay focusing and working with your divine connection as well i'm hearing your inner child here is being brought back to the forefront some of you guys may have may have had some sort of trauma that has to do with your inner child but I'm getting this is this is these traumas are, are coming back up so that you can actually heal them and deal with them. This has to do with your spirit. This has to do with, with you having faith. OK, uh, you being an empath, I'm picking I'm picking up on you being an empath and dealing with like being hypersensitive. OK, picking up on energies and stuff like that. Some of you guys may also need to do spiritual cleansing as well. Meditation. Some sort of form of therapy that is that involves like quieting the mind. OK. We got the mermaid and the turtle, the mermaid and the turtle. And this card talks about it says an elder will teach you. So you guys are there's somebody that is around you. OK. Somebody that is right in, in front. I mean, they're right in front of your face who is imparting 
useful and helpful knowledge to you. Whether you recognize them, whether you even acknowledge this person, there is someone there, somebody who may be older than you. They don't necessarily have to be older than you. They could also be just more knowledge, knowledgeable than you in certain areas, or maybe more spiritually attuned or maybe more uh more of somewhat of an expert in whatever field that you are going into or wanting to go into but you you will have a mentor who will surface whether that mentor is for some of you guys that mentor is going to be in the spirit for some of you guys that mentor will be in the physical in a physical form but it is up to you to be open minded and to not judge. I'm getting the message here that be careful of not judging people because you do not know how, okay, this person is supposed to look. Somebody, somebody here, you might have a certain image in your mind about how a certain guide or mentor it's supposed to look, it's supposed to talk, it's supposed to show up in the world, but you have to be very, very careful about judging people who are sent your way. Be careful of that because I'm hearing um, the person you least expect may have an important message for you. You don't know who God sends to you with certain messages. And I think people people have it in their mind that they have to look this certain way. They got to dress like this. They got to talk like this. That's not how it works. Okay. That's not based off of reality at all. So you have to keep an open mind. We got strange companions in stranger places. You see what I'm talking about? I'm, that... that and it's bringing me back to what I was talking about with this, uh, the mentor. It's like... Be open to different people. Be open to people from different walks of life because you never know who God is going to send in your pathway, who your spirit guides are going to uh, put in your pathway for you to learn something from. Okay? Some of you guys may be coming upon those, that as a challenge, uh, being open and receptive to people. Okay? Especially, and I'm not trying to be funny, especially if you... Wow. Okay. I don't know who this is for. Okay. I'm going to just going to tell you the message. Somebody who's watching this reading may not like receiving certain information from certain ethnic groups, certain cultures. Okay. Certain people with specific spiritual beliefs or religious backgrounds that are different from yours. I'm hearing that is a huge that is going to be a huge major lesson for somebody here is not looking down on people based off of differences and not the superiority complex needs to go whoever this whoever is watching this okay i don't feel like it's the majority of you guys i feel like it's just a like minority of people who maybe eyes may be on this reading right now okay spirit is telling you to use your imagination Use your imagination and, and set your mind free. I'm here. Elevate your mind, free your soul. Elevate your mind, free your soul. You have to think outside of the box to not approach these new situations and these new experiences with a know-it-all attitude. Like I don't have any. There's, I know everything. There's nothing else for me to learn. That's like there's so much in this world that even. When you are on uh, getting ready to transition, you still not going to know everything at that point within that specific vessel in that moment in that lifetime. You feel me? We got sacred beetle armor. You have a mighty shield. Some of you guys are afraid to open yourself up to people. You, you may be afraid to let people into your life. Maybe afraid to take chances, maybe afraid to go out and live your life. You may be afraid to adventure, may be afraid to love again, to trust again, whether uh, to let new friends in your life again or to try a goal again because that goal has failed in the past or something that you try to do has failed in the past. You may be afraid to 
open yourself up. You may be afraid to being vulnerable. You may be afraid to being intimate with certain people, with people in general. You may be afraid of pursuing your dreams because you don't want to experience disappointment or experience failure again. You are stronger than you believe, stronger than you think. I'm hearing, don't be afraid of going out into the world and, and experiencing the world because you're afraid of that somebody is going to hurt you. Trust in your ability to use your own discernment. Trust in your ability to use your own intuition. You are very, very protected at this time. You're protected and you're able to go out into the world and experience many new different things. You know what, I'm, you know what I mean? We got Black Cat. This card says lost magic, atonement, balance. I feel like you guys are very, very gifted when it comes to your own personal magic, when it comes to your own personal ab ability to um, to manifest, to to pray, to set intentions. To use your own, uh, to co-create with the universe is what I'm hearing also. You're very, very powerful. And I see a lot of you guys, um, when you conquer this fear, you are allowing yourself to get back into contact with who you really are down to your essence. And you're very, very strong and a very, very powerful person. I feel like fear has gotten in the way of a lot of us um, over the years. And a lot of us have seen fear are living within the fear mindset as a norm. You know what I mean? And we have to break that, break that, um, I'm hearing break that paradigm and shift it into a different paradigm, into a different timeline to where you are standing in your truth and your authenticity and you're courageous. And you're allowing yourself, we got number 12 energy here. You are allowing yourself to grow. You are allowing yourself to tap into your own creativity and you are being optimistic and having faith about what you're creating, what you're doing, what you're doing here, and what is coming into your life. You're going through a major, your situation in life right now is going through a major transformation is what I'm getting here, okay? Power, is some sort of power shift. The power is shifting. People will be throwing all types of illusions to you. This is people that are around you. This is people that you're watching online. This is uh, what you're watching on television, what you're listening to on the radio. Be mindful of fear mongering or fear based news. And what I mean by fear based news, those are the ones that instill fear into your mind. You know, I'm hearing through your gateway, through your, through your eyes, your ears, okay, and your mind, your heart is what I'm getting to. Those are the specific areas that I'm picking up right now. Um, be mindful of people that feed you negative information and then they just leave they're done i'm just gonna implant this negativity in your mind i'm gonna plant this fear in your mind negative seed planters is what i just picked up i'm gonna plant this negative event in your mind i'm gonna plant this negative situation or whatever in your mind and i'm going to leave you leave it there i'm getting is because they're wanting you to project that negativity out into the world be very very careful you are very, very powerful. You are more powerful than you believe. Your eyes are like a projector out into the universe. So it's like what you're letting into your body, your mind, your soul is being projected outwards. You know what I mean? From what you see, because when you look at these negative events, we look at the listen to this negative news all the time where they're not giving you any solutions. They're not giving you any options. Nothing like they're just saying, hey, if this is what it is and that's it, it's very, very negative. Da -da -da. Bye. See you later that is really changing your perspective on life and that is a very very powerful tool that people use against other people to help them manifest certain things and in, in, out into the world and you are coming into your power i feel like a lot of you guys are breaking through that matrix programming and you're seeing things differently than you've seen them before okay and you're knowing that hey wow maybe i do need to stop being a projector for these people because they're using my gifts, they're using my power to manifest, to broadcast, okay? So this is you finding your own personal magic again, okay? 
This is you rebalancing yourself, calling back your energies. I'm getting calling back your energies and bringing yourself back into some sort of balance here. We got the element of water. Okay, the element of water is going to be very, very important. It says the emotions are at their peak. I'm talking to people who are highly in empaths. You're highly empathic. You're, you're very, very, you're, you're a strong empath. You're able to pick up on a lot of these energies. And um, you are the ones who are able to manifest quicker and stronger and more precise than other people. Okay, so I'm hearing use the element of water. To your advantage water cleansing emotions all that stuff tying together your intuition okay make sure that you're doing spiritual cleansing make sure that you're meditating if you if you find your mind is like all over the place clear your mind free your mind and take time alone and uh, uh cleanse your energy okay so you guys may need to work with the element of water a cup of water a tub full of water a shower a lake pool the ocean I'm hearing uh, the water is going to help you cleanse the energy right now and it's going to help you with your manifesting abilities. For somebody here, I'm hearing stargazing and I'm also hearing cloud watching for somebody. I don't know why. What else we got here for you guys? What else I need to know? The wolf. Beware who you trust. Trust your intuition. Oh, I don't know who this is. You know, I don't really talk like this, but I heard trust no one at this time. Trust your own intuition, especially if somebody's trying to influence you. Somebody's trying to tell you to do something or give you some sort of instruction that don't sit well within your spirit. Uh, like I always tell you guys, vibe with your tribe. There's no need to argue with anybody. If you don't agree with them, just walk away, go about your business and redirect your energy. Redirect your focus. There's no need to tell somebody to explain nothing to you or to uh, give you this or to give you. No. Control your own direction and keep it moving towards things that are, are that are resonant towards you, that resonate towards you. OK, we got the gate. A barrier keeps you from your goal. I feel like you guys have been being blocked. OK. So you guys, I feel like it's a combination of external and internal blockages. I feel like some of us have been blocking ourselves with fear, with um, having those know-it-all kind of attitudes, um, with being closed-minded, okay, um, with being scared, like I said before, with fear, with being afraid, afraid of being disappointed, afraid of, um, well, I just heard afraid of being betrayed. Mm. I'm hearing keep your keep your keep your plans to yourself. Keep whatever is unfolding to yourself. Don't share with nobody. I feel like this gate is opening for you. That is that is the unexpected change that is coming up. This gate, wherever you were blocked, it is opening back up for you. Okay, we got the sun on the bottom of the deck. It says your perseverance is rewarded. That is what is happening here. It's because you didn't give up. It's because you persevered. It's because you you saw it through. That is going to be that is a, that that is a changing the deciding factor for you. Is because you didn't give up and you just kept going. You fought through it. You believed in your own dream and your own vision, even when other people didn't believe in it. Other people told you though it sounded sounded stupid. It sounds funny. It's not going to happen. Da -da -da. You believed in yourself and that's why change, these changes are happening. This is for those who have been doing the work, who have not been giving up on themselves, who didn't throw in the towel. You are going to be rewarded. Your perseverance is rewarded. You're being rewarded now. The sun is shining on your situation. Clarity is coming out. The, the, anything that was being done against you in the dark is being revealed. Okay, anything or anyone, whether this was internal, whether this was external, any blockages are being revealed so that you can now you have the ability to uh, really conquer those. I just heard conquer demons, right? Conquer those demons, conquer those blockages. Okay, and you know how to do with them because now you can see them live and live in color, right? There's nothing, there's no mystery involved in the situation. 
things are put being put on the table and now you can see exactly where you're going that is the unexpected change that you do not see coming that is going to change your life and bring in rapid improvements it's going to allow you to, to develop new skills and also advanced training i'm not talking about mediocre you know entry i'm talking about advanced training that you could use to empower yourself and to empower your world okay that is the message that i got for you guys today hope you guys got something positive from this and thank you guys for being here and i wish you guys all the best and we'll catch you next time much love and light you guys take care ciao mm -hmm.